We had an experience when we were newly married and we were interns in Peru. And um, we went to Machu Picchu, went to Cusco, and there was this cute little boy who was trying to shine Davis's tennis shoes. And we just developed this fun little relationship with him. Um, we would bring him food and just say hi every time we passed by. And one of the last nights, the very last night we were in town, we saw him at 11 o'clock at night and he was sleeping on the side, like leaned up against a building. And we woke him up and asked him, what's going on, why aren't you home? And he said that someone had stolen his shoe shining kit and he was afraid to go home and face his dad because he helped support his family at that young age of nine. And so we were just heartbroken for him and um, we decided to, you know, we just gave him what we had. We had some extra money and then the next day as we were um, waving goodbye from the the bus we were in, we were out of, going out of the city and, and he was waving to us, he was happy and he was holding a bag of candy. He used the money to buy a bag of candy so he could sell candy. And we were just on that bus ride out of the city, we looked at each other and we made this commitment that we have to do more. We can't just go back to school, go back to BYU, go back to Utah and forget about this boy and all of the other um, children and people in similar needs. So we wrote, we wrote that in our journals and we remembered it. And then the opportunity arose where Davis um, was in transition from one business to another and he decided to start a business where he could help um, those in poverty.